and greetings to you. My name is Shanti Cupid and welcome to the 10 of our Advent devotions. Today's topic is God with us. Today we continue to spend some time with Joseph and find out what happened when he heard the full explanation of what Mary's baby would grow to do and to be. Look out for what Joseph decided to do next. We're going to read from Matthew 1 verses 22 to 25. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to the son, to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Think of a friend or a family member who you know well. In what ways are they different to you? In what ways are they the same as you? In our reading today, we see how Jesus looked ordinary, looked just like us, but how he was totally different to, what, to every other person. We are given a really big clue as to how Jesus would be different when the angels said he would be called Emmanuel. It literally means God with us. This baby in Mary's tummy would be the physical manifestation of God walking on earth and dwelling with us. Jesus experienced just what it was like to be human. He knows what it is to be bullied, let down, overwhelmed with sadness, laughed at and anxious. But he also shows us what God is like, his nature and his character. John Wesley was a leader in the 18th century Christian revival in England. In the final moments of his life, he cried out, The best of all is, God is with us. It really is the best news of all. God with us gives us plenty to think about in our minds and hearts this Christmas. If God went to such trouble to be with us, how can we ensure that this Christmas we remain with him? Please pray with me now. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for everyone watching, for every family represented. Mighty God, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to walk here on earth with us, O oh Lord God. And because of that, we know that you are not a distant God, that you came down, Lord Jesus, and experienced just what it's like to be human. And Lord God, we're just so grateful because with that knowledge, we know that you understand us, you understand what we go through and the challenges that we face. Mighty God, you know every family, every individual, Lord God, and the needs that they might have during this season. Lord God, and even in the midst of the hustle and the bustle and the gifts, Lord God, help us to remember you. Help us to take time to just reflect on the goodness of your love for us, Lord. Lord God, may we find joy, peace, and love as we reflect on the birth of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for everything that you've done and for all that you still have in store for each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and see you tomorrow on the next devotion.